Marvel in cinemas now. Time wasters, bring on Monday. Now with strong language, adult content and strobe lighting. It's all new Ibiza Weekender on ITV2. One long hot summer and a crack team of reps were sentenced for crimes against dullness. Crimes they may or may not have committed. They escaped and now run a hotel on the White Isle under the leadership of El Jefe. If you want to party, if no one else will do, and if you can find them, then party, if no one else will do, and if you can find them, then maybe you can spend the weekend of your life with the finest reps in Weekenderville. Well, not really, but they'll have to do. Are you ready, Weekenders? Well then, come and join us at the hotel they tried to warn you about. For a weekend you'll always remember, but might just want to forget. Well, it has been quite a season, hasn't it, El Jefe? Single and looking for a fit man, what does fit mean like good looking, which I am? And what have we learned? We've learned there's no way you can go looking for love when you're running a team like this one. All that shit gets moved back onto the balconies right this second. Take Tash. Please, someone take her. F*** her. She's still not learnt it's a full-time job being a super rep. Everyone grab the shaft. And as for Callum... I love you now. Well, he's learned it's hard to be a rep and have a girlfriend. Where do I stand with you? How have you got for new rep? Of course, this is my job, this is what I do. No such problems for new girl Nicola. No, she's not wasted any time making her mark. She missed me, Jordan. I'm such a drama maker. <laughs> but not before she gave you a scare, eh, Jordan? David, you are you. You know what I want. You know I want to be my girlfriend after whatever goes on after him. We believe you, Jordan. But the problem is, does Isabel? Do you genuinely? Yeah? I genuinely do. Either way, she still hasn't learned to keep up. On probation, what's happened to Samas? You are the new assistant head rat. <laughs> but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> I like a bit of Greek in my life, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and you know what that means? I hope you're not flirting. I'm not flirting, I wasn't flirting. You better not say. Yes, how many times have you got to say it? No rep relationships! So, Savas, all grown up and real responsibilities now. As I said, you are minor management now. Okay? Do you think it'd be easier if I just sent everyone home except me and Savas? Well, it couldn't be worse. Do you reckon it'd run all right? Give it a try. Because I honestly think it would. I think it'd be fine. Well, as long as Savas doesn't forget Weekenderville's second most important rule. Do you want to grab my pizza for me? The first is never forget El Jefe's pizza, Hobbs. Yeah, you can get everyone out. Everyone come to the balconies! Oh, here he is. Oh, Mr. Oh, Humble. He's going to love this now, isn't he? He's going to be a right dick. Yes, read the tabard, Weekenders. See that? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. So oh. just... Sorry, I'm just going to have another little bite. I'm starving. Yeah, basically... Jump to the cut. Oh. This is going really well. So just to let you know, guys, do you want to be quiet? Sorry, like, I know Sam is assistant head rep now, whatever. I don't see rep of the week on the back of my uniform. Savas, so, please take over. The new guests are coming. It's time soon. Woo! On the bar is Callum yes. and Tasha. Woo! Woo! On okay. reception is Izzy and Jordan. Yeah! <laughs> I like the new system. Me and Nic uh, Nicola are on guest welfare. So, let's go! Now this is my time to stamp my authority. Things are going to change around here. I don't know, Sabas. All I see is someone using their new position to impress the rep they fancy. <laughs> so, no change there, really. Hello? Yeah. How are you saying? How are you? Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. I know she's got interest in me, I've got interest in her. But this rule, I don't know what this rule is about. Who knows what is what anymore? You know what happens when you break that rule, don't you, Callum? Although Jordan and Isabel seem to be getting away with it. You're rocking the bib, yeah? Yeah, do you like it? Do you still fancy it, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a weird way, it's like, it's like naughty now, isn't it? I know what you're doing, Jordan. 
Yes, we can all see what you're doing. Oh yeah, so we're not together. Together, but we kind of are together because we're sneaking around together. So we're technically together, even though we're not together. That was perfect. You hear that? <laughs> yes, above the sound of Weekenderville cringing. I think I can hear the Vogue Patrol. Bubble butt. Bubble, bubble, bubble butt. Behaving. Absolutely fine. No flirt in a harp. Absolutely none. Go on, look at your Gloria. Glory. What do you mean? Ah, oh, where's Rep of the Week? Oh, got that as well. Get back behind reception. I've got your rep of the week here. <laughs> you have been mugged right off. <laughs> He's taking the mic. No. He's got three posters. At least give me one. There's three posters. I could have one at least. Who's going to see that? Who's <laughs> got that? It's really cute and it's really small. Well, you'd know, Isabel. I'm going to go now. <laughs> see you later. So, we've got something for all tastes. Little Jordan and supersized Savas. So it's time to ask, does size really matter? I be <laughs> To 19-year-olds Georgia, Anya, and Sophie. Excuse me, baby girl, I can tell you give me size. Hey. What's the plan then, girls? Uh, this is our first girls' holiday away, and we're in Ibiza. <laughs> And it looks like they're dressed for a very hot weekend on their first girl's holiday. Well, except for the wellies. Yeah, we're from a small town in Devon called Barnstable, so like coming to Ibiza is just crazy. Well, I don't know how they do it in Devon, girls, but in Weekenderville, we put our champagne in... Everyone knows everyone. Yeah, same faces every weekend. Well, don't worry. You're going to be seeing a lot of new faces this weekend. Push up on me. We're here to find Georgia and Matt. <laughs> I dream that. Oh, so yeah, it sounds cringe, but no, we're not. We're out here to just have fun. I'm fine, dear man. I think you'll find the first one in reception. Sorry, guys, but it'll take more than that to make a tabard sexy. Hi. Hello, how are you? Hi. Excited to be in Ibiza? So excited. Yeah. You've been Ibiza before? Never. Never. It's your first time, yeah? I'll get your cases. Thank you. See you in a bit. And our next available man is busy fluffing up his welcome package. Caution. Don't look so worried, Tash. It's just a posh way of saying he's tidying the room. And this is our assistant head rep, Savas. <laughs> oi, oi! How are you doing? Should I give Tabard as well? <laughs> no, you're you're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank you are all gorgeous as well. Oh, thank you so much. No worries, thank no worries, you. no worries. I'm absolutely gassed that you are in Ivy Fit. It's literally paradise on earth. Do you know that party, you know? Yes. Party, party goes. Really yes, yes, we are. Anyway. I know what you're thinking, Georgia. I'm not sure you're humble about But that bulge in his tabard is just a notebook, I think. Savas is really nice. Yeah, yeah. he likes Savas. Yeah, he was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that can turn into a sofa bed if someone's in there. You never know. You never know. Go and do it. Any points in ring, you know. I'll leave you two girls. Now you get ready. Free one, free one. Free one. Free one. So, I'll catch you in a bit. All right. Get ready for the best three drinks of your life. Okay. okay. Georgia was the only single one. But perfect. Blonde. Nice body. Wait, so what's the deal? Are they single or in relationships? Two of them are in relationships, one of them is nuts. Yeah. But the one who's pretty sexy is the single one. It's really like quite nerve wracking being a rep and watching all these pretty girls come in and you've got to be completely professional. I mean, I'm getting pretty jealous. Well, let's show them a good time. Exactly. Well, I'm about to go and meet the boys, aren't I? Yeah. So I'll get the 411 for you. The 411, Nicola? I think you mean the six foot eight. Yes, it's time to say, what's the weather like up there? To Kunmi and Alex. People always mock me about my height, but really, I don't know what they're talking about. I'm just a little bit above average. So, boys, what are we? Models? Basketball players? Professional light bulb changers? I actually do finance, and uh, I study economics and history. So, in maths wizards, seven times four is three. So, there you go. I hope your chat-up lines are better than your maths. Kumi is uh, 
a lot better for sweet talker than I am. I'm more of a, um, hello. Well, hello up there. We call ourselves the Big Rig Society. Can you not tell? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, the legging as well. I've got a pretty meaty car. We don't think uh, our beef is ready for the Big Rig Society. Well, man. Him. Hello. That's boys. Hey. You're right. Are you good? You're right. 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 You're you're Shut not. Up. How are you, sweaty? I'm doing you know, the best bit. I turned 23 weeks ago. Okay, Isabel, you can close your mouth now. I'm 20 as well. You're 20 as well. What's yeah, going on? That's not possible. <laughs> are you guys single? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's right, well, Isabel, take the boys to the room. Oh, I was going to take your stuff for you. Yeah, you yeah. Follow me. Wow, that shocked me. It gets worse, George. He's muscly, he's dark, he's very, very much my type. Very much. You'll have an unreal night, though. I love you, but look at I hope so. Hi! Hello! Hi, oh, you're right. And you come, grab a cocktail, meet Twist. This is a Smurf drink, very nice. I like the look of this. Thank you. He's so tall. Thank God Chloe's not still here. <laughs> what do you think of the cocktail? Have you tried it yet? My friend made it, so if you don't like it, it's not me. It's good. Good. What is it? I don't have a clue, to be honest. But I think that since you've arrived, you should probably clink drinks and neck it. Alex is just like this big, sexy giant. Like all the beard and just like so tall and his like slicked back hair. Good. Leave you to settle in. They are fit. Good looking bastard, isn't he? Superman. I shouldn't have had pizza for dinner. Do you feel a bit shit? Yeah. Like he's a tree. Duh! Manly! Duh! It's all right, George. They haven't met the girls yet. And hopefully they've brought their step ladders with them. Hello. How are you guys? Hi. Yeah, nice to meet you, nice Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Kumi, nice to meet you. I saw him walk out and I just thought, oh my God, I've never seen him with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so tall. He's very good looking, yeah. Have you been to Ibiza before? Never. Any of you? You guys? No, first time for both of us as well. Nice. All you girls single then? Oh, I'm in a relationship. George is still single. Are you guys excited for tonight then? Yeah, oh my god. The girl guests seem lovely. I'm sure we're going to have a great time with them tonight. What do you think about the um, girls? Yeah, they're right, yeah. Yeah, they seem nice. Alex, if that is nice. glasses. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I think I could see you with them. Yeah. I feel, I feel like I need to grow a bit. <laughs> I can grow a bit. Honestly, seem like really sound girls, but nothing more than that. Like, as in, like, I wouldn't quite honour anything with them. Well, I think you should, um, well, should we find out if that rep's single then? Which rep? You mean Isabel? He's 20. Of course she's single. Isn't she, Jordan? So, in light of Savasi's big promotion as the new assistant head rep, I've decided that he's going to throw us a party. Yes! yes. 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 Not just any party, he's taking it back to my heritage. So what we're pulling? Oh, we're pulling a good party! Oh, 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 oh. So it's my big fat Greek party. So you're all Aphrodite for tonight. Okay. Do you know what Aphrodite is? No. The goddess of love in Greek mythology. I'm not sure if we're going to have to wear like some funny outfit or something, but... Mm. It says here, Yamas Weekenders, which must be Greek for who's paying the laundry bill. I'm not going to say I feel kind of sexy right now, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I'm getting everyone dressing up like gods, and I'm going to dress them up in... Togas. The robes that are something... Togas. Togas, that's the one. Not everyone's quite so excited by their outfit, are they, Isabel? Yeah, but it doesn't even go Sick. Uh, she didn't go like here. Bad dicks. <sighs> Say, that looks cute. No, it doesn't. Don't worry, Isabel. Alex hasn't noticed. He's got problems of his own. 
I think you need a king size sheet, Alex. There must be something in the water. Be careful with that safety pin, Jord. You wouldn't want a tiny prick to ruin your night. It just keeps on getting stronger. No, I ain't ever come. So it's time for Savas to show us the ancient Greek art of pre-drinking. The main thing the Greeks are known for, though. Cheese. Smashing plates. Bye-bye! Yeah! yeah. Smashing, isn't it, girls? Yeah, Sapas was really good at hosting it. He was like hilarious. Hey, 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 hey. And I think Nicola is enjoying an eyeful of Sabas's famous Greek hospitality as well. To be fair, I think that Sabas has done an amazing job. He's pulled it out of the bag. I hope not literally. <laughs> Well, this party needs, don't you? <laughs> yes, Sabas, besides more Greek dancing, we need a real goddess of love. Sadly, my toga's down the laundrette. But it's okay, we've got... Kalu! Hello. Chloe? Oh, my Lord. What's the matter, Chloe? Did you leave something behind? So it looks like some of us have got a chance to finally say how we really feel. Yes, yes. I would like to be your girlfriend. Go for it, my man. Go for it, honestly. That's right, Alex. Seize the day. Yeah. But be careful. You don't want to end up like Nicola. I told Sabas that like, if there was anyone that was like here, then it would have been him. Stand back, weekenders. We're on fire tonight. Well, not literally, obviously. It's just Savas's Greek night. But will it be Greek tragedy or comedy? Because first... First of all, the Greek god of tabards. Hi, Savas! Needs to remember it's Georgia he needs to invite up to Mount Olympus. Sorry, Nicola. Give me some fire, baby. None of Savas' hummus for you. And Hercules. Well, of course, that's what we're calling Alex. So where is this coming from? He quite fancies a peek inside Isabel's temple. Well, I love you, love you. Only thing is, Jordan's been hiding in there all season. I can feel that heat from you. But just don't tell Zeus, because rep relationships are just an ancient myth now. Aren't they, El Jefe? Oh, my God. oh shit! Oh, shit! Because you can't make him laugh, otherwise he'll die. Ah! Obviously the health and safety comes into it. But what happens if one of you doesn't live in Weekenderville anymore? I'm nervous to find out what's happening, but then I'm just thinking I'm more excited than nervous at the minute. Yeah? Well, it's a good job Callum and Chloe aren't going out. Well, stay here with me. Yeah, of course. Because it's about time we have the what are we now chat. I know she comes if she wants to see me, but she might she might want to maybe fully establish what we are. Questions, questions, eh, Callum? Well, at least El Jefe doesn't beat around the bush. Well, I mainly want to speak to the single one of the group. <laughs> so, is there anyone that you are uh, fluttering your lashes for? Well, Savas, assistant head rep, guest interest, this could really be your night. But this is also Weekenderville, where there's always someone looking to open a can of worms, isn't there, Nicola? There was someone from this entire experience that I've, I've had that I had to say that I actually genuinely liked, and it would have been you, and I've not said anything to her because I didn't want, I didn't want to get trouble she's telling me she likes me and i can't do anything but i like it if i was really experience i'll be kissing you right here right now but now no. i'm thinking no I'm it's thinking. not it's not it's not worth it like you've literally been promoted like as you said like the guests come first but like just for my scene of minutes last night i think to be honest i just wanted to say something i do think that he likes me but 
I'm just not sure yet. He's obviously like he's he's not kissed me, and I think he's playing it very safe. I don't think he wants to get into trouble. Right. Give us a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Yeah. I like it though. Oh. And it looks like Nicola isn't the only one who might want to put a move on a rep. At least I think that's what Alex is doing. It's hard to tell from here. And then was it in? I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. I that the show, yeah. Because I'm not sure if he's teaching her a dance move or a recipe. And then you have to pause, you get a bit of seasoning, chuck it in. I have to say, Isabel is really attractive. A very weird girl, but I do like that. Word on myself. I was just sucking some pepper, spicy, spicy, spicy. Yes, Alex, it is a bit weird, but I suppose it does still count as flirting. Yes. yes. Every single boy says they fancy Isabel. Every week, who do you fancy? Isabel, Isabel. Oh, really, really? Oh, yeah, should I crack on with it? Yeah, mate, crack on with it. It's relentless. I'm used to hearing it now. It's like a broken record. Groundhog Day, every week for me. Yes, but the groundhog's not normally six foot eight, is he? Put him down, Alex. You don't know where he's been. So, from the couple who don't want anyone to know exactly what they are, I don't wanna be alone to the couple who just want to know exactly what they are. Well, I guess that's what happens when you leave Weekenderville. Who knows what me and Chloe are at this point, to be honest. Like, I mean, we obviously like each other, that's for damn sure a lot. I know it's been a few weeks, but don't pop your cork too soon don't know how he's feeling or if his feelings have changed but I can't deny it like I've come back because I am in love with him so Callum what are you then I just think that if I feel like this now and I don't want to change anything that we're doing and when we get back home I just think it would be nice that we carried on everything we're doing exactly the way we're doing it yeah but I wouldn't want to change this for anything so obviously I'd love today <laughs> now it's definitely official I've no idea what they are at all. Clarity, anyone? So, you just, what, yes, as, as you say, yes. saying yes. I would like to be your girlfriend. <laughs> Aren't they? And here comes Alex with his magnum-sized bottle. Watch out, Jordan. The bigger boys are coming over to your part of the playground. Obviously, I find like it's not really fit, but like I was gonna ask, are you like to have like a thing or anything? Nah. Because yeah, I, I don't wanna get the wrong impression or anything. No, no, no basically, like obviously, with reps and reps, like definitely it's going on. So people are gonna assume because I'm like really good looking, and so is Isabel. People are gonna just assume that we're getting together. Nice. It's a curse, isn't it, Jordan? Go for it, my man. Go for it, honestly. <laughs> Like, honestly, go for it. Well, I do hope Jordan actually is a little bit intimidated because he should be. So he should be. Sounds like that's your chance, Alex. Yeah, who do you fancy? Who do you fancy? Who do you fancy? I just said that I find you attractive. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> what do you really want to say? Time for your best line. Do you know where the, um, the toilets are to the. Yeah, yeah, I do. Think, yeah. Give me a hug. That's right. That's fine, yeah? Bars, but actually, I'm going to ask something aside. Yeah, yeah. No, don't worry, don't worry. Toilets. He's, I'm not saying he's not boring and he's not funny. He's just not my cup of tea. Like, he's more of like a paler, like, milky tea and I normally go for like a really strong dark tea. Well, Alex, you might have pied yourself, but cheer up, because El Jefe's about to show you his worm. Sure, what you were expecting, weekenders. Good news. Uh, drinks are good. It was amazing. The night was amazing, yeah. It was so good. I didn't want it to end. I felt like it went quite quickly. The guests need to be pleased. I'm the best at pleasing guests. Yes, I can see. She doesn't even have to walk back to the hotel, does she, Savas? Oh we need a wee wee. A really big wee wee wee. Unfortunately, it seems George is not the only one who fancied taking Savas for a ride. I feel a little bit embarrassed because I've just told Savas I like him and he's you now piggybacking a girl back to her bed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I told them 
I told some of us, like, if, you know, he was asking me how I liked it, I said that realistically, if there was anyone that was to like here, then it would have been him. He was like, yeah, like, well, I, I liked you too. But, like, realistically, there's nothing that would ever happen. It's like a bit drunk. Yeah. Listen, it's, it's not it's really fine. to say. We all get emotional. <laughs> Come here. Give me a cuddle. Cuddle me. Cuddle me back. I'm pretty surprised at Savas for not breaking the rule, to be fair, because normally he thinks with his dick. And in this instance, he hasn't. Savas. Good night, girls. So, no late night nibble for Georgia. Oh. <laughs> and Man Mountain Alex's. Fi I think it's fair to say El Jefe has had a very tiring season. But you know what that means, don't you? Jordan and Isabel, alone on the balcony, with their reputation. Yes, I do. Do what? Love her. Happy now? I'm fine, thank you very much. But I think you two are about to be rumbled. Yeah. Yo, yo. Yeah. Hey, what? You guys all right? Yeah. What you... You good? Yeah. Don't speak to girls, I really... We don't want to leave you in trouble. Walked outside the apartment and like I saw like Isabel and Jordan just like sat there talking. But I was like trying to work out like if something was going on or not. I know, Anya. I've been trying to work out what's been going on all season. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that look fucking dodgy, but trust me. Really? You know, there's nothing there. Well, at least there's one couple who don't have to hide their feelings anymore. Well, besides David and Savas, everyone knows how they feel. And now everyone knows how Callum and Chloe feel. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Oh, God. <laughs> that even what What is Bodge going on here? Get both hands involved, you know, just every little nook and cranny. But the thing about Weekend of Ill, there's always someone who missed the memo about keeping things quiet. Come on, get ready. We've got three minutes. Warning, this could get revealing. Told you. ITV2 Showtime, sponsored by Reese's. The mix of chocolate and peanut butter. Nivea Q10 Plus C Sleep Cream. It supercharges your skin as you sleep. Visibly smoothing the appearance of fine lines. before haven't we weekenders press snooze on the alarm and sleep just five more sleepy minutes but then you remember Savas is the new assistant head rep everyone on the balcony is coming now line up for me line up for me bet you're glad you stayed over now aren't you chloe girls come on come on come on you're five minutes out oh. where would this guy come from uh, Stoke on Trent, or Greece, depending on what mood he's in. Yesterday's Oreo milkshake. This white tabard that David has instructed he needs to keep it as white as possible, it's not happening. Girls, come on, come on, come on, you're five minutes out. Go on, go on. Get up, now. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 Everyone start running on the spot right now. Running on the spot, running on the spot, running on the spot. Star jumps, star jumps, spread out, star jumps. Everyone on the floor, keep dancing. Everyone on the floor, keep dancing. Keep dancing, go. 
Don't worry, girls. It's just for the reps, isn't it, Nicola? Well, the energy I love every morning. Every morning. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Full energy. Full energy. I'm going to have to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Push up. Careful, push up. Callum. You don't Callum. want the new assistant head rep on your back. Push up. Push up. Push up. Yeah. Push David, up. come on. I did warn you. <laughs> Push up, David. We're gonna feel like a normal rat. Well, you put him in charge, David. Just a pity he can't keep his bed clean. First of all, I'd like a confession on who downright disrespected Savas's uniform. Not only is it rude to do so, it's embarrassing. The fact that now one of our members of staff has to walk round with a dutty vest on. I didn't never expect them to disrespect the tabard. Who was the Nutella? Sasha trying to write hashtag stay humble. So you did it? Accidentally, yeah. Well, that was easy. Who was the black soot at the top? I'll confess. And that was even easier. Callum and Tash, you two are going to pay a while for me today. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, you know <laughs> joking. Let's go! Woo! Hold on, hold on. And in case any guests are unhappy they've missed Savas's big horn, Jordan's got his bangers out! Wakey, wakey! Brace yourself, Alex. They're coming for you, too. Oh, hi, Kunmi. Forgot you were in there, too. Wake up! But I'm afraid it's not Isabel. Open the door. Time for breakfast. Got big day. Well, that sounds exciting. And this sounds even more exciting. Oh, what, sorry? El Grand Jefe won't leave you alone this season, will he? He's ringing me so much at the minute, like... A normal amount, out like a... A stalker? Is he flirting with me? <laughs> well, he's only human, David. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I think you deserve some attention after this season. I'm sick of looking after everyone else and... Oh... Your love life and your love life. What about mine? Yeah, are you really going to be able to get anyone who can do it like me, though? It sounds like you're flirting back now. Now all you need is for the rest of them to start looking after the guests properly. Oh, my God. I just dropped the bean down my fucking swimsuit. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you guys feeling? A bit raw. A bit raw. Is that not burning your raw? No. no. Oh, Did you go with anyone last night? No, no. No. What about you? Oh, no, you got a boyfriend. Nah. How you guys feel? I feel good to you, mate. You alright? Just last night was, uh, interesting. I think that you, you mentioned that you'd had your eye on yeah. Isabel. Yes. So what, you're just going to leave it, leave it with Isabella? Apparently you're not allowed to have relationships as reps, but um, yeah, David's very strict on no relationship as reps. And Savas for once is doing his best to obey the rules. I'm going to say, girls, you're looking damn fine today. Don't you reckon, Nicola? I'm getting pretty jealous because Savas is flirting with Georgia and I'm like, no, you're not allowed. You hey, out! Guys, we are going to the beach! So that's handy, isn't it? Go and get your summers on. Armbands, rubber rings, snorkel. You heard a weekenders. Appropriate wear for a day at the beach. Well, if that's all you've brought, girls, it'll just have to do. And is anyone else thinking they'd be knee length on someone else? And half of us think you must be mad, Isabel. But don't let us disturb you. In El Jefe's bedroom as well. All right, Chloe. Callum can have the afternoon off as well, I suppose. Woo! Hi, everyone! Yes, everyone, let's go! The sun cream. Well, Nicola, if you're planning to spend the afternoon helping Savas shake the sand out of his pants, I hope you brought the necessary protection. I wonder if it's a nudie speech. Yes, cream up, weekenders, because it's going to be a hot one. That view is stunning. Got much on the nipple, Satan. Little demonstration here. Jim Mike. Jesus Christ. Get both hands involved, you know, just every little nook and cranny. <laughs> you, never, you never know what might see the sun. 
There's a lot of bodge going on here. Who needs Isabel? Hey, Alex. Loving it, Horn. Hi. Hi. Hard. S. Super. Sorry, Nicola. Looks like you'll have to join the queue if you want what's left in Savas's tube. I don't want to let him rub sun cream on me because he can lick, but he can't touch until he stops. Until he stops flirting with other guests. Did you uh, have a little bit of flirty business with Sav? <laughs> looks like you two are getting quite close, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's just really nice. Yeah. 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 Do you think he's good? He's friendly. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. I think Savas is proving very popular this weekend. Nicola likes Savas. And Georgia likes Savas. In fact, all the girls like Savas. Wrong hand, by the way, Sophie. Looks like not even Alex and Coonby can distract them. Savas, you need to lie down because you're breaking the mould. They broke the mould itself when they made Savas. Don't come near me, I'm being serious. Savas, get away from me now. And that, Weekenders, is how Savas does a day at the beach. Uh! Now that wall's not going to paint itself, is it, Tash? I mean, I hope you're not expecting Callum to do it. And it looks like Jordan and Isabella are busy as well. Still pretending you're not a couple, I see. Right. It's just harder. It just makes it harder knowing. I'm leaving my boyfriend there and I'm going. Somebody to hold. Somebody to hold. Somebody to hold. She's leaving again. And it is sad. Probably not the right time to remind you that it was your choice to stay for the rest of the season, Callum. This feeling, I don't know, feels like it could be... Indigestion? Wind? No. No. I literally sucks that it's feel like you're leaving me all over again. Well, not for good, I can see it. I hope not, you're, you're actually my girlfriend now, so you can't really do that. I'm not escaping yet. Right. Don't cry, I can't. I was getting kind of used to being so Oh, Callum, if only you'd waited a few hours, because I think Savas has got a plan that would have made you very happy. Reparations to be allowed. <laughs> Water, mix of chocolate and peanut butter. What time is it, Weekenders? Is it time for Alex to finally realise he brought Coonby on the trip with him? <laughs> or is it time for Savas to let Georgia know that really he fancies a rep? Let's ask El Jefe. He always knows the time. It's that time, unfortunately, where you need to start packing and getting ready to leave. Exactly! That time. <laughs> Don't be sad, El Jefe. And Nicola will be pleased to see the back of some of them, at least. Won't she, Georgia? What did you put for the numbers? Uh, just gave everyone a ten. You actually? What, the reps? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Out of ten, how would you rate your experience? Ten. Out of for our first time in Ibiza, it's been amazing. It's been so good. Yeah, it's been the best really time good. ever. I'd say this is definitely a new experience. Night to remember. Night to remember. It lived up to expectations, definitely. <laughs> We're all. It was really good to meet you guys. Hello. It was good to meet you. Lovely to meet you. All of you are now 75% Greek. Yeah, it was really good. That's enough, Savas. Don't miss the plane. Bye. Adios. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.
versatile time. I think I've come out an enlightened man. I feel better, taught people my dance moves, and I can't wait to come back again. Cheers, anybody. 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 Cheers, Yes, we've come a long way together since the start of the season. But strangely, some things just haven't changed, have they, Callum? All right, come on, let's just let's get this over and done. Well, I've painted that wall around maybe eight times. Wax on, wax off. My wrists hurt. Too much info, Callum. Thank you. Chloe's only been gone a few hours. <laughs> what do you want? Well, hello there. Don't quit your day job, babe. Uh, this is my day job. Listen, I've painted this wall four times, bro. You don't even know about nothing about painting these walls. Who does he think he is? He's the assistant head rep. Babies. Though he's not the real boss yet. There's still only one El Jefe. How many times have you painted this wall? Oh. Four times and you still do a shit job. What's wrong with that? It's not even white in that section. Honestly, put the praying bushes down. Come with me. Drop the mic. Everyone come with me, please. Oh. Still time for one last sacking, is there, David? I always feel like it takes to the end of the season until I've got the best team. But honestly, I'm going to say it again. I honestly think this time I've got the best team now. Savas, this is your first team meeting as minor management now. Thank you. I, I, I like to sit beside you. It's very comfortable. That used to be you, didn't it, Callum? Um, I want you to be taking notes on everything I'm saying. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so anyway, Tash, I'm very, 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 very glad that I made the decision to keep you here. Thank you. Callum, I'm pleased to see that your work ethic hasn't changed even though you did have to make a hard decision with the Chloe situation. Nicola, you're doing amazing. And don't get distracted by our Greek princess. He's talking about you, Sam. I'll look, I'll look but I won't touch. <laughs> Which brings me to our rep romance, Ruol. Isabel and Jordan, how are things with you two? I might not be able to prove it, but I know there's still something going on between you two. And I feel like you're sneaking around behind my back. You both know what that means. Isabel, you're not getting rid of that tab I just yet, hon. <laughs> but right now, frankly, I don't really care about that. Like, seriously. I've got places to be, guys. I'm going out. Go on, then. So, Sabas, hon. You're in charge. What? What? Goodbye, what? guys. What? I'm not going to lie. I don't really care what the other guys think. Right now, my life is going to come first. Yes, it is. It's Grand Bay's car. Oh, God knows where Dave is going. Well, I think now we know why Al Grand Hefe was on the phone earlier. some stuff to do. I'm off on a day. Savas in charge, and who's going to look after all of us? <laughs> Sit down, all of you. So, as I am our Hefe, I feel like I can change the rules. Can he do that? And so I want reparations to be allowed. I guess he can. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think we're all shitting ourselves, really, because we're like, what is going on? How can Savas be in charge? That means I can kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better call Hell Hefe because this hotel is going down. <laughs> Don't worry, Callum. I'm sure Savas has it all under control. Savas, we love you. One sec, one sec, one sec. Should we all just jump in the pool? Forget David. Forget David. Hear that, Weekenders? Yes, the title music's playing for the last time. And there's still so much we want to know. Is Savas really the rep to turn this shower into the number one team in Ibiza? And will being underneath the new boss give Nicola a bad taste in her mouth? really found the true Mrs. Davies. Or is Isabel just going to pour cold water on those dreams? Will Callum return to his old ways? Especially now Chloe's gone. See you, Chloe! Well, at least we're leaving one couple who look very happy together. But there's one question we're dying to ask. And I don't mean, is that really David on a date with our Grand Pepe? No, what I really want to know is, how do I apply to be a rep for the next season? <laughs> be the workers at 24.co.uk or visit us on Twitter on at Ibeetheweekender. Weekender.